What's up guys, welcome to another episode. Today I'll be showing how you can test and replace the mass airflow sensor. Uh, very often you may get a code 100 or P0100 uh, on your vehicle. And before you run out and buy a mass airflow sensor, you wanna first verify that the sensor is indeed your problem because you could have other problems such as maybe the connection here is loose or maybe you have a problem with the power getting to the sensor. The sensor could be perfectly okay but there's not any power getting to the sensor. So we'll check that. Uh, there's also a film. There's a hot film that leads to the sensor. Sometimes this hot film clogs up and it will throw a engine code 100. So we'll check the film as well. Uh, or you could have a bad ground and I'll show you how you can check that uh, as well. The point really that you wanna learn here is you don't wanna run out and purchase the sensor without checking these things. Uh, because the sensor is not inexpensive and just replacing the sensor doesn't necessarily correct the problem. The only tools that you'll need is a multimeter and a repair manual for your vehicle and I'll show you what that looks like. In this case this is a 97 Maxima so I have the repair manual for this vehicle. So that being said let's go ahead and let's begin. Alright guys now the mass airflow sensor is located right here on the airbox. And what this sensor does is it measures the amount of air or the flow rate of air going to the motor. Let's go ahead and start with the first test here. And what we'll need to do is disconnect the power source, which is this connection right here. Make sure your ignition key is off. And now we'll go ahead and turn the ignition key to the start position. Don't crank the car, just turn it to the start position. So just turn it to the on position. All right. And if we look at our flow chart here, what we're going to do is check the voltage between terminal three and ground. Now, how do you know where terminal three is? They give you a little diagram showing where terminal three is at the, on the connector. And again, that's your positive lead going to connector three. And this is your ground. So a positive lead to terminal three, that's your ground and uh, we should see battery voltage here, so around 12 volts. So let's go ahead and check that. So the positive lead again goes to terminal 3, which is that guy. And then the black wire will put to ground, or I'll just put it on the negative terminal on the battery. And there we go, we have 11.7 .7 volts. So this is a, uh, a good reading. So now we can go ahead and check the, uh, the next step. Now the next thing to check according to that flow chart is the engine ground. And again, there's a diagram showing where the engine ground is. And there are these two connections right here. This ground looks perfectly fine to me. Uh, you can do a voltage check, but just visually looking at it, uh, everything looks pretty good to me. Uh, if you have a lot of corrosion, if these connections are loose, then of course that will give you a bad ground. But just take a look, make sure everything's nice and tight, there's not any corrosion, everything looks good here. Now don't forget, you don't have to be a wizard on your vehicle. The repair manual shows me exactly which grounds to check. So I know with the mass airflow sensor, we need to check these two grounds. So on your vehicle, again, uh, they'll show you exactly where the ground will be located and just make sure that uh, they're in clean and in uh, good shape. Now for this last test, I'll be using uh, really a homemade device. Uh, this is just a paper clip and one wire, as you can see, with alligator ends. And I'll show you why you need this. And of course, this last test, go ahead, reconnect the mass airflow sensor, start the vehicle, and we'll use the paper clip to make contact inside of the sensor or inside this plug because inside this plug you have uh, metal tabs and the paper clip is small enough to make contact without damaging the uh, the connector here so it slips right by the rubber grommet back here and now you have full contact to the metal tabs inside that connector Now of course this is where we'll need these alligator clips. I'll attach one lead to the paper clip 
The other lead will go to the positive side of the uh, terminal coming from the multimeter and the negative lead again will attach to ground or uh, negative terminal on the battery. Now this reading at idle should be between 1 to 1.7 volts. And as you can see we have 1.10 volts so this is performing correctly. Now if you don't have a reading here or a very very low reading at idle uh, under 1 volts then you need to clean the film on the bottom of the mass airflow sensor and I'll show you how you can do that. On the other hand if this test turns out okay for you then really you have to replace the mass airflow sensor. But again, you want to check all of these parameters to verify where the problem is before you run out and buy a new sensor. Once you remove the air box, on top you have your mass airflow sensor, and then you have film right here, what they call hot film. You want this area to be completely clean, like this one is. If it is not, again, go to your local auto parts supplier. They'll have spray that's made specifically for mass airflow sensors and clean out the area. Reattach the air box, and of course reconnect the mass airflow sensor, and redo that test that we just did. And you should have a good reading and your check engine light should be clear. Uh, again, if you've done all these tests and you still, everything comes out with a great reading, then you have no choice but to replace the mass airflow sensor.